Well, I'm back in Howling Stones again, as you can see. I um, got fed up with all the shamans and sebels, and I came here and XP'd safely back on the safe ramp here in North to make 56, and uh, thought I would um, come over here and try to kill the Crypt Keeper again to get a key for West that I would then keep on a corpse to uh, get in there easily. I um, I would like to go make a video, and I, I mean I've already made a video here, but I figured it's a little more interesting than what I've been doing, and um, why not, right? So I'd like to go um, get over to the named boss guy in West and get a key for South, but might as well start here. So I'm trying to get full XP for stuff still while I'm in here. Keep getting closer to 60, although I, uh, I might have to back off on that goal as I'm clearing this room, because it's, it's quite a few mobs to handle uh, if I'm trying to get full XP for all of them, and um, also worrying about pathers in the hallway out here, so I'm going to try to fight inside the room instead of at a safe spot, I think, and um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just keep track of timers. So these guys died about 5.30. So I just killed the first three mobs that are just inside this room. About the only three that are safe to kill because of uh, how many are down below. And I'm going to have to do some lulling, some calming to uh, pull anything else without training myself, so it should be interesting. I don't remember exactly how much time I have on this stuff out in the hallway, so I'm going to have to be... I'm going to back out there to try to... Um, try to get calms on this stuff, and hopefully not have... <laughs> speak of the devil. Well... No, no, no. I'll come help you just a okay. Actually, this is kind of nice, having this spawn here, because it means I can snag it. And, um... Use it to intercept anything that I might aggro. <coughs> Assuming that I don't uh, have a charm break on me while well, I'm trying to calm stuff, since he's got his harm touch still. So I'm going to try to calm this one first. I'm going to have my pet guard right there. And then hope that if I get a fail, I can pick up the stuff with this pet before they get to me. Sucks trying to break this room. I don't know how many things I'm going to aggro if I do this, but I'm going to I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll only get the two, or just the one, even. No, I aggroed something that harm touches. Ah, uh, this this is a lot. I'm going to AOE mess them as I back my pet off to make sure they're all. Almost all, anyways. Apparently, I had a lot of them. <laughs> well, once once everything's, if I can see what I'm doing here, it'll be a lot easier. Mez is gonna charm. Aoe is gonna wear off here in a second. I hopefully it catches them through the door. Ooh, there are a lot of them. Five. I'm just going to be letting stuff die here. Um, after I think that I have everything rooted, it's going to be tricky getting everything all rooted up and everything. Okay, so. God, there's a lot of them. I'm going to be... I'm just trying to... I need to keep the oblation of the mez so that I don't have him dispelling or breaking roots. I'm trying to make sure I 
have everything toshed, but it's too many mobs to really be sure. I've got them all. So, just gonna let my pet die, hope that nothing more wanders onto me in this hallway out here, and then see if I can whittle these things down. Everything's gonna be spawned in pretty short succession, respawning in short succession later. But, uh, Slowly getting under control here. I'm gonna keep keep messing this oblation so I don't have to deal with his shenanigans. And uh, when Mez wears off on my pet, then he can come get killed too. Ah. Oh well, I got smacked there, and I was trying not to, but my um, berserker spirit's gonna wear off here pretty soon, anyways. So. theft of thought coming up again soon, so get my mana back up a little. Whoops. Forgot about that oblation. Respawns in the hallway behind me. I think I have a little while still until the Pathers respawn because I just um, killed them right before I started working into here. Oops. Boy, I keep forgetting that Mez is not a very long duration and almost getting myself in trouble with this oblation. I'm going to get him killed, I think, here on the last two skeletons that are left. And. Assuming he doesn't break all my roots, nuking shit. Fighting in a doorway, not a not a brilliant idea. Well, I pulled that off pretty well, I think. Cleared out most of that room, probably. Um, so after these two finish each other off... Oh. After these two finish each other off, I'll be able to um, move in and sit on the top to clear out the rest of the stuff and see if I can get the Crypt Keeper to respawn. Or to spawn at all, for that matter. I swear, I just recast that room. Maybe this is the one guy that I didn't manage to tosh. It would have been pretty bad luck to get a root break right after I cast it like that on this stuff. It's low enough level. Looks like this guy's only level 45 that I shouldn't get root breaks early. Uh, without bad luck. <coughs> Excuse me. New Berserker Spirit up, because I'm working in pretty tight quarters here to finish these guys off. If my pet's going to die here, I'm just going to let it die, rather than get stuff dispelled by breaking charm and trying to get him messed up and stuff. finish off this skeleton. So while I'm doing this, I'm downloading uh, fucking live. 
on my other desktop. I actually subscribe to the All Access on one account for uh, Daybreak last night. I, uh, I'll try out Agnar, apparently, just to see what's like. I'm not terribly optimistic. I feel like it's... I'm going to need a new clarity soon, I think. I feel like the problem that the thing, the problem I'm going to have with it, maybe it's not an issue that everybody's going to have, but I think the problem I'm going to have with it will be that um, with some people boxing and a lot of people already knowing each other on there and uh, and uh, just the classes that people tend to play and the groups that people tend to form being different because of the, the different live mechanics and because of the possibility of boxing and because of people who maybe have done this before and make a certain character as a best first character and then plan on making a different main later or um, the group experience bonuses like all those things are going to skew the way that the game feels compared to P99 and um, that might turn me off because I've enjoyed P99 so much I'll have a hard time getting into the swing of things over there but I'm going to try it anyways I'm not sure what I want to play uh, I was tempted to not play an enchanter because I don't know if the... I'm kind of afraid that I'll be an awful enchanter without clickies instant really, instantly refreshing my global cooldown. The kind of soloing that I do is will basically be not impossible, but much, much, much more dangerous without a clicky being able to instantly refresh a stun or a root. You know, there's no way I could have handled that pull right there just now um, if, if you remove clickies uh, because... There, I wouldn't have had enough time to tosh and root and keep everything mezzed without stuff wearing off and me getting beat to hell. Um, even just uh, even just handling a charm break, you know, and, and getting it rooted quickly when you were already when you just finished a different spell or something would be really dangerous. So, um, so I'm, I'm tempted to not play an enchanter because I'm afraid. Um, my second choice, I think, was bard as the CC type class, but that, um, let's see what I actually caught. I killed almost this whole fucking room. Um, my second choice was Bard, uh, and thinking I'd box something with it. <laughs> shit, I must have got harm touch there to run out of my rooms already. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, I forgot I lulled that motherfucker down there. Now I got no stuns up, because I used both of them. And didn't hit him, because he Z-axis pug bullshit on me. And the skeleton's about to wear off Mez and harm touch me to death. Alright, we survived. Anyways... Z-axis. Gets you every time, you know? Okay, anyways. What was I talking about? A bard. Um, so I thought a bard would be fun as a you know, quote-unquote high-skill class. And uh, that gets groups and I don't know if, like, charm kiting is a thing on live anymore, if I would be able to, if I would be able to keep myself entertained solo sometimes if I don't feel like grouping. Everybody says that on Agnar, the group XP gets a huge bonus and that you're insane to try to solo, but I fuck groups sometimes, you know? I'm okay. I'm willing to do groups, especially if it's uh, not as viable to solo, or if the group XP bonus is really huge, but I really enjoy the playing at my own pace, obviously, and stuff like that. But, uh, but the bard kind of turns me off, too, because with Melody, people can box bards really easily. And, uh, 
not really miss out on a lot. You know, they can't really pull or CC, but when they're just being a buff bot, but they can, you know, sing three or four songs easily. And so he was a little concerned about playing a bard for that. But I guess bard mains are probably going to be pretty rare. I don't know. I'll probably, if I make a bard, I'll just end up regretting not having an enchanter. Maybe I can make a bard and an enchanter. And then, uh, <laughs> just, uh, use the bard as my own buff bot and, uh, play the enchanter mainly. And then, god, this warbone is annihilating this feaster. We'll see. We'll see how much I stick with it. I only have one account subbed right now, and I'm just installing it on my second computer. Right we'll see how the launch in, uh, about seven hours pans out. I assume it's going to be a cluster fuck. But what we got in here? I know there's something spawned in there. Where the hell is it? I thought there was more stuff in there, but maybe not. Boy, me in the doorways. I gotta stop fighting the doorways. Bad idea. I think I'm gonna need a decent slow on this guy to keep him even with my pet because he's a yeah because he's one of the dudes who can I think gets an extra he's gets like a monk attack or something in addition to his normal melee so yeah I'll, I'll try out Agnar hey, if nothing else it's not like I can't still play P99 while I'm on there too Especially if I'm a bard. Turn on my... Do like a bard wizard. Turn on melody. Nuke stuff when I need to. Be the lazy AFK type of wizard. And then play on P99 in the meantime. I think I cleared this room pretty quick. So I think I'll have a chance to rebuff a little bit. Probably just throw up. Maybe just adorning grace. And gnome and resist magic again. So that I don't have to worry about them for a while. I think they're my shortest duration left, and then uh, maybe upgrade back to room 5, and then wait for respawns. Um, um, uh, I don't know where I'm going to fight the respawns, though, because since everything died in pretty short su succession in here, I don't think I'll have time to kill the stuff that spawns up here before things down here start to repop, unless I'm really quick, and I don't want to... Shit, I'm not going to be able to... Come on, Root. You can do it. There we go. Um, shit. Thought he was lower. fiddle with my different nukes a lot because I... My daughter's in the room. Hold on. Oh, yeah, they call her the nails. Okay. Just don't call her on anything except your fingernails, okay? Alright. Okay. I'm gonna be down here in a little while and then I'll come play. three-year-old daughter who's done with preschool already this year, and uh, she um, she's keeping herself entertained right now, but uh, she keeps running into the room and showing me how she's colored on her fingernails with markers. It's delightful, and I'm slightly afraid of what else has been colored on upstairs in the time I've been down here. It's only been 20 minutes, but oh well, I'll find out in a little while when I'm done. Uh, rebuffing a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be. What time? I killed those guys at 9:30, so I've got like six or seven minutes left until I start getting respawns. I think. Oh, I'm wrong. There's one already. I forgot it's not 20 minute respawns in here. It's only fucking 19 or whatever. Can 
Well, hopefully I get the skeleton up top so I can get that theft of thought action going here. I'm going to charm him up right away because I think the next spawn will be close enough coming that I don't have to... Uh... No, it won't be. It's going to be like another minute before it spawns, I bet. Well, hopefully he's polite to me and doesn't break charm and come ruin my berserker strength or the berserker spirit. I think I'm going to pull back down here and uh, hope that I can kill these respawns from up the stairwell here quickly before the stuff in the main room starts spawning because I don't want to have to kill the stuff out in the hallway too. Even if I'm just letting stuff die, it takes too long um, with these 19 minute respawns or 19 ish minute respawns that Howling Stones has. It's too hard on my mana, especially if um, when I start needing to rebuff uh, shield and clarity and rune and stuff. So uh, try to kill just the stuff that's in this room. It's just a little hairy because of how quickly I killed them. So they're going to be all respawning right on top of each other, and I don't know which ones are spawning when. I don't want to get harm touched as stuff appears. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, at least I'm a little ways into 56, so if I die, I don't think... Ooh, I, I should check. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy without aggroing stuff from the hallway. I'm going to check map while this fight's going on. Just see that, just preparing for the future, just in case I need to die and I remember. I'm going to check to see where exactly the tunnels underneath north stretch, because if if I am going to die, it would be nice if I managed to should I need to aggro that other one so that the fight plays out faster here. Uh, but yeah, if I need to die, it'd be nice if I can die in a spot where I will be aggroing, or I will be able to drag my corpse from the tunnels down below. I'm just gonna let my pet die. Anyways, maps. Oh, tunnels don't even come close to coming up this far. There's no way I'm gonna be able to die with a tunnel underneath me because of the layout here. super paranoid about root durations. I cannot wait until I get fitter. I mean, roots nowadays break early. Uh, oh, this is taking a long time. I feel like I'm going to get respawns on me. I know that this was the last thing in here that I killed, but... Um, I, root durations used to be mm, longer. Mm, more steady. Shit. This is not what I was hoping for. I can't tab target this fucker. He must be stuck behind something. I bet it's this fucking flag here messing with my 
camera view, or my line of sight when I'm in third person. It won't let me, yeah, it keeps fucking, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, guess you can guard there. I'll try to, I don't know what's up here. I think it's probably a little dangerous moving around by this door because there could be stuff right out there that's going to aggro me, but I'm going to leave him chilling there, I guess, and bring myself back here. Watch. Maybe I'll just try to fight in this room and be willing to take some hits in... Uh, in order to break up the room out there a little more without having to fight by the hallway and risking the aggroing mobs from out there that come in and harm touch me. I do have egoism right now, which is nice, but... I can't really remember how long I medded... Oh. Stand up so I don't get sit aggro. Thing fighting my pet? I can't really tell. Looked like he was dropping pretty fast. Alright, well I'm just gonna let this happen. We'll see how it goes. It's possible that there could be a respawn pather in the room I'm in. I'm gonna eat a harm touch, but I don't remember. We'll find out. I like to think I have a lot of situational awareness playing an enchanter. And sometimes I do, I guess. But one thing that I'm not very good at keeping track of... Oh shit. That root's gonna wear off too on that dude here in a minute. I like to think I have situational awareness, and I do sometimes, but the issue that I'm not always terribly good at is keeping track of spawn times, re spawner timer, respawn timers, <laughs> talking apparently, respawn timers when there's, you know, more than a few things around, um, you know, if there's more than like three or four things I'm trying to keep track of, I lose track of what respawns when. And, uh, and that can be a little dangerous when you're dealing with, with, um, I need a big room. It can be a little dangerous when you're dealing with big nasty rooms like this. And stuff that harm touches. Shit. I need that mana. Quite able to kill him with an anarchy. I'm gonna need to use Discord in mind instead. Well, at least I got two. I'm breaking things up a little bit because this guy was one of the pathers, and I'm just now killing him. And the two guys up top were dead quite a while ago. I got one of the mobs in the room dead, and I'm safe to chill in here unless a pather comes in on me, which I'm pretty sure one does for a little while before that mob in the corner that was right here respawns. I gotta be careful I don't bump that teleporter. That's the placeholder for the named. So I will... Hopefully he's the only one up. I don't see anything else, but I might be mistaken. Also, hopefully I can charm him. Some of the trash in here has proved to resist casualing whispers, and I kind of assume that means they're above level 46. Come on, Allure, go, 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 go. I assume that means they're above level 46, but 
it might just be that I have bad luck every once in a while. Ooh, got lucky that he was coming right at me. If he would have pathed around funny at all, it would have meant I get a... I think I'm going to bring them back in here, take my chances with a pather. My pet would stop getting stunned. So I like to try to keep Berserker Spirit memmed because it's got that bit of a cooldown on it. And I like to keep Tosh memmed so that when I get an ad suddenly, Tashan is there waiting to, uh, to use. I root first and Tosh later because I don't want the Tosh aggro to pull stuff to me. And usually the root's going to stick right away on this stuff and then I can Tosh it. Ooh, that golem's about to lose root. I was absent-minded. Let this guy die for sure. Try to get XP for some of the others. Seems like when stuff's rooted, they generally are attacking the thing that's closest to them. Um, so, you know, until root wears off, then they bounce around. I'm trying to keep my pet on this guy so that he... These guys are more even on hit points, and I can... Um, kill them off better, but... Pets are kind of annoying in the way they choose their aggro. They don't listen to what you try to tell them. They switch to whatever I think is doing the most damage to them, basically. Come on, come on, stun, stun, stun. I'm looking forward to using Boltrans sometimes, I think. You know, it costs, costs a lot more mana than, like, Cajoling Whispers and Allure do. But it casts quickly enough that you can cast it during a color shift. Not during a flux, but during a shift for sure. And it's nice to be able to... Um, to be able to recharm shit without having to mez and wait for a few ticks first for the mez to wear off before it can then engage again. Yeah, they're staying pretty even. This is working out well so far. Um, you know, almost full mana to finish clearing out the room out there after the stuff dies, and the stuff is has didn't die so close together as it did before, so the you know it'll be a little safer fighting out in the room the next time around. I don't know if I'm going to have more time than one more time around before uh, my daughter's starving for attention and i got to log off to go be a, a parent, you know. It's kind of a shame that I'm letting so much XP go since I'm still quite a ways from 60. But uh, better than dying back here and then not playing again for a you know, and dying repeatedly while trying to fetch my corpse out or not playing for the rest of the day while I wait for somebody to come be back here to help me or whatever, so. Although if it gets too dicey, I guess I can just hit the teleporter, and at least if I die, I'll be out near the entrance. I am gonna... Oh shit, my pet was so close. I could have almost killed him with an anarchy if I would have just waited like another half second. See, he's got more hit points than I wanted him to have. I should have let my pet die then, instead of trying to get XP for these guys. It's going to cost a lot of mana to finish them both up. I don't remember if my... Shit, he's going to... I don't remember if uh, Theft of Thought's going to be up in time to use it on this Warbone before I need to kill him. <clears throat> yeah, 
It is. Nice. So my rune five's still full, I think. Because I've only been getting hit here or there. I think I had Berserker Spirit up all the time, so... Sitting pretty. I'm going to need to read buff some of my spells pretty soon here, I think, but... At least, um... I didn't think I had killed that many things, but everything out there should have been respawned by now that I had in that big initial fight. So now I think I'm just waiting on the thing that was over here, the guy who ZX has aggroed me before, and the one that's on right where I'm sitting for respawns. So, uh, getting pretty spread out, which is good. You know, if I was going to be here for a couple hours, a few hours, it'd be even better because... Um, you know, the more spread out stuff is, the safer you are. You're not going to get stuff popped up on you and doing you in before you have a chance to react to it. There's that guy respawned already. I need to get out of this spot before it pops too. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat today. I think this guy should be responding very shortly. Because he died at about the same time as that one that was out there. Oh, no, he didn't. Did he? Oh, no, I'm a little thrown off on my timing. I can't remember where the next spawn is going to be. Uh, this guy aggroed me when I was up on that ledge trying to kill oh, this guy right here. Okay, so it's still a little while before the one in this room spawns. I'm figured out now. So I'll do my little gnome thing like this. Watch for the respawn on the platform. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. My pet didn't need a berserker strength spirit. I do. hell's going on down there? I just saw some goofy looking specter mob flying through the air down here. That didn't look familiar to me. It was like a model from the hole. It looked like not a model from Howling Stones. I don't see it now though. Maybe it was just my eyes playing a trick on me. I thought that thing was supposed to be up soon. anyways, by the time it pops. I think... I don't know if we can see her from here. Yeah, we can. There she is. Drusilla Sethir is up right now. Can't tell if she's got a weapon on her or not. She, um... used to be something that I greatly enjoyed farming. Although, it'll be a while again before I kill her myself. I don't think anything has changed that'll make her harder to kill, really. Um, actually, she might be a little easier to kill now than she was when I was playing Tecmos, because um, even though Roots roots never really held too well on her anyways, so that wasn't an issue. So, you, you know, you'd get summoned before anyways when trying to fight her. Uh, um, roots didn't protect you from that. You needed to use blurs or just keep her stunned. Resists we haven't really changed, but but nowadays you can use stronger weapons and pet gear on your pets without having to worry about losing it. Um, that wasn't the case the last time I was playing an enchanter at higher levels. So um, yeah, giving a giving a pet some minus magic resist gear and some nasty weapons 
whether it's just uh, null hide lariats even, because she is still sunnable, or uh, you know something that procs on dead nukes on her, she'd be she'd melt pretty fast, I think. Now, I just realized that undead procking weapons would be great in here because not only are they super awesome against the stuff you're fighting, of course, but they're not going to do anything when your pet breaks and is attacking you because even if he procs or tries to proc, it's not going to affect you. You're not undead. Oh well, someday I'll be over there. Get to kill a DS again. You know, her drops aren't really worth much anymore. I, I don't think... I don't think Chardock's been revamped yet, right? So... There's no, um, I'm just going to let my pet kill this guy, I think. There's no, um, fourth drop on her table, the thing that, shit. I think I'm going to let my pet maybe regen a little bit before I try to take on that oblation. Bad time for a fizzle. Well, I'm gonna... Hmm. Damn it. Christ, fizzles. So I'm going to mez my current pet and let him regen a few ticks before trying to kill the bitch wizard in the next room. Pet's pretty beastly. He's only 44, but these dudes definitely, definitely do more DPS than the skeletons do, besides the harm touch. I don't know what extra attack they have, but... But the the wizard would do him in if he oops didn't think Mez was gonna wear off quite that quickly. The chance of Mez to blur is very nice, and it's pretty high. Get him one more tick, and then I'll hit him with another Tosh and recharge him. Oh, maybe mess him again before it wears off on me. <sighs> well, this isn't going too bad. Getting some XP. Trying to spawn this named. Who I really would like to kill. I'd like to get a key. He's pretty tricky. Level 50 Necromancer. Not a pleasure to kill. It, that, well... When the room is fully spawned, he's a lot harder than if you catch him in a perfect situation. You know, if you catch him as he spawns, um, I don't know if my pet's going to need help killing this guy. I'm a big stun in case I need to. Um, forgot what I was saying. Yeah, he's not bad to kill when you get him, um, you know, spawned without his pet up and with the room down. You just gotta hit him with some stuns because he's gonna try to dot your pet up, and, and dots make it difficult to recharm, of course. Ooh, AOE. I hate, I hate wizard mobs. They're not as bad as shamans or necromancers, but they're still pretty annoying. Here, pet, I'll let you beat on him unmolested for a little. didn't listen to what you said. But all she did was call her on her fingers. That's what I told her she could do. But she got a little confused, I guess. Not close enough to land that one. AoE on. 
color flux is annoyingly small. It's a nice cheap spell. It casts really fast, which makes it nice, but it definitely you nearly need to be in melee range to um, stick it on anything. Come on, pet. You can do it. Guess I could get both of them if I wanted to. Pet is just a little bit too much mana, though. Or hit points. I'm going to need a dementia and an anarchy on him. Of course, if I he breaks root, he's going to end up... Oh, it looks like he's trying to flee. I guess there's nothing else spawned close enough that he cares, or that he cares to uh, engage me, so my ruin is safe. Oh, I got lucky. Usually, that's too many hit points, and I won't be able to... Okay, cool. Cleared everything through again. I need to cast a couple rebuffs. I'm not going to refresh my rune. I think it's most... I think it's like 80% there, so... for response. If I get to full mana, I'll probably recast Shield of the Magi just to make sure it's good. I think I can go out here. Oh, I have response already. I probably can leave the stuff alone that's up on that top ledge, actually. The two that spawn flanking the doorway. I guess they aren't going to aggro anything down here unless I pull that bile that roams right off the stairway, which, you know, I won't. So I might be able to actually kill fewer mobs down here and have a little easier time keeping this all cleared. I really have to piss right now all of a sudden. Too much coffee. So I'm going to buff up, cast Berserker Spirit, and then run to the bathroom quick. And when I come back, there'll probably be something spawned in the room that I can engage. <laughs> I think, anyways. What? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I've been had, having bad luck with what I'm... Uh, I don't like that he wanders over here. It makes me nervous. He's going to come into this room. I'll be back in a minute. see that I'm still alive. I think the mob that wanders into this, this room is the one that spawns down on this lower level and paths around the outer edge of this raised platform. Not the one that spawns up there, that bile. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to keep chilling here. Ooh, I'm going to grab him right now, I think, while he's down here. Since he does come into this room, it'll be nice to keep him handled. I don't remember what spawns first down here. So I guess I'll just charm him up and let him chill right there. Give him the old pet guard here. And uh, say to hell with those two spawns up by the door. And, uh, oh, there we go. I guess I can I'll pull them back in here. Just gotta do pet follow. Giving my pet a whooping. I use all three different levels of slow that I have as needed to keep, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to, to use a, um, you know, a languid pace 
partway through the fight and then stuff stays even than it is to try and cast an extra you know dementia uh, you know language pace is a lot cheaper 50 mana compared to 250 so when you're XPing, you know basically the only thing that limits your progress is your mana regen so using the least mana possible is a excellent way an excellent way to XP faster that's why I use different nukes, that's why I use slows in fights, that's why I use root instead of the longer roots, like Paralyzing Earth. Costs more, casts slower, and a lot of the time the duration is wasted when you don't need a root that lasts three minutes. Plus I'm not sure how with roots not holding as long as they used to, or as well as they used to, you know, I don't know, it'd be a shame to cast a Paralyzing Earth and it breaks in two ticks when you could have just cast a root that's going to break in two ticks. I guess I should keep that up. I don't know what's spawn inside. Shit, can't see from over here. Nothing yet. I want to say that this guy's coming up. It'd be nice if I could catch him before he does anything annoying, like summoning a pet, buff buffing himself to hell. Ah. Well, my decision's made for me. I was planning on letting my pet die. But... What the hell? Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. Now I need a new rune, damn it. Hi there! <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Oof. Mezes definitely in this game um, have a lower resist chance than normal spells, which is why I can do shit like that. Get resisted on a get resisted on a stun, but fuck you, my Mez, because of my I'm my opinion is that it's because of charisma. I don't know if that's true. I kind of I kind of like to believe that charisma is basically a minus resist modifier on Mez spells. I don't know that, but I think it makes sense. Um, so I'm going to keep this guy chilling here, Mezzed, um, until I get a pet to kill his ass with. And he doesn't have his weapon, but I don't know if that means he's... Oh, he has a, the robe. He has a robe. Um, I think he always has the key, which is what I'm really after. Ooh, oh, I'm an idiot saw that corpse, thought it was a mob that spawned in here or something. Uh, just wait for something to pop out here so that I can uh, kill the Cryptkeeper. He should go down pretty fast in this room all by himself with no pet. Um, I'm kind of paranoid about keeping him mezzed. I don't want to get dotted or beat up anymore now that my rune is down. I got Ego, though. I got that extra 1,100 hit points more than I normally have, so I'm good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll slow him and, and probably haste my pet and help my pet with some stuns just to make sure I kill, kill, kill that motherfucker. And then I'm going to hit the pad to get to safety. Well, no, I'll probably gate out. That pad could lead me to trouble, depending on what spawned at the entrance. And then uh, I can go into west later today. Oh, what did I lose? Gift of Brilliance? Yeah, I can go without it. Oblation spawn somewhere. I don't know where it is though. Oh, spawned right outside the fucking door. I don't like the idea of using a wizard to kill a necromancer, but EQ giveth. And I'll see what I can do with it. I think that he's going to wreck this guy with haste. Take a screenshot for posterity. Pet 
is going to be dotted to hell here. I'm, sit I'm sitting close because if my pet breaks charm, now he's got fucking boil blood on him. Oh no, I guess he got life tap. But anyways, ooh, he's getting wrecked. I need to help. I didn't think he'd get beat up quite that soundly. Theft of thought. Pet. Once my pet runs out of mana, he'll do a better job beating this guy up, I think. Oh, shit. Shit, what the hell? Oh, my fucking pet cast an AoE. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Shit, I really don't want my pet casting nukes now, because things are going to get interesting here with me. Dying and losing my buffs. I got clarity too, and charisma still, which is what mostly matters. I'm gonna make sure I'm keeping these guys rooted. I'm gonna throw a Berserker Spirit on myself again here. I'm gonna let my pet kill, get killed, and then use this Warboned to finish him off. I don't think, unless that one in the corner right here respawns, or maybe that one that just respawned was the one from the corner. Can't believe that Crypt Keeper still has mana. Well, it was an interesting fight. Nothing like an ad to spice things up a little bit, you know. But I'm going to get what I was after in here. And, uh. Then get the GTFO and be back to crawl into the back of West later, sometime today. Maybe tonight, I don't know. Depending on Agnar, right? If uh, the servers are all crashed or not. success. I got a little bit of XP, got the key that I was after, got a shitty little robe. Survived a na couple nasty fights. Um, I'm just kind of met up, buff up. Oh, I gotta make a corpse. Um, Tempted to just eat an XP death and harass Dramas to come res me. Yeah, I'll make a corpse the old fashioned way. Well, I guess it's not really the old fashioned way, but I was him facing the wrong direction when I leave this spot. <coughs> so I'll keep doing the video just for the sake of showing a corpse creation. Um, you know, away this this key that I got is no rent, right? Well, temporary, whatever. So it disappears when you're logged off for more than a short period of time. Um, but I want to use it later. So I'm going to die with it in just a loose inventory slot here. And then um, I can go back to my corpse and loot everything else. And the key sits there for about seven days on my corpse. And I can come back and get it whenever I need it, whatever. 
So, uh, an easy way, of course, if you have a cleric around to make a corpse is to just fucking nuke yourself down or um, die to an NPC or, or whatever. Or if you've got somebody to duel you, you know, that's a no XP death. But with the cleric, you can just eat an XP loss and get rezzed. I don't have someone to kill me, nor do I have a cleric, because Dramas seems to be AFK. So I'm going to run into a different zone, uh, click off my buffs, get myself very low on hit points, and then dot myself. And then I'm going to gate back to my bind. And um, I think that it used to work anyways. Maybe something has changed. We'll find out. Um, after you, When you gate and have dots on you, if you then die on the other side quickly after you've gated, um, you die without losing XP. And uh, so I can create a corpse, hopefully, without losing any XP. And if I do, then I'll still get her Astro Dramas to hammer over here and help me out. Guess I could just have one of these people kill me, but... Nah. <coughs> I'm curious if this works for a future river. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some different spells up to... This is also a method that I've used many times in the past, too. You know, like when I'm farming in... When I was farming in Hellingstone South or anywhere where you get a lore item drop, it's uh, often a good idea to corpse the lore item if you don't plan on going to sell it right away. So that way you can keep farming, and if that item drops again, you don't, um, you know, end up it, losing it. <coughs> so what I'm going to do here. Click off my hit point buffs, tosh myself. since I'll heal faster. This guy's making me curious what he's doing. Oh, he's a cleric. Ah, don't heal me, you son of a bitch! <sighs> I'm sure that's a curious happening for somebody who's just randomly standing there. Somebody's hurting himself, and then, you know, you ask him nicely for a... <laughs> for a invis, and then he just runs through the zone as you're trying to heal him so that the poor guy doesn't die. <laughs> what the fuck you? You're trying to mess up what I'm doing, you son of a bitch. Sounds like he got rustled. I don't know where the hell he went now, and I don't have long before I'm going to die to this dot, so... Actually, I'm not sure if it's going to kill me. I know it lasts a long time, but it doesn't tick very hard. once more. The other trick with this is that if your gate fails, which it sometimes will, you don't want to end up dying in the wrong zone. Then you lose your, uh, you lose your XP and end up at your bind and have to go fetch your corpse and still have to get a res. Ah, uh, I thought, oh, it's because of your gear. Damn. Okay, so, I, I remember that being a thing. That when you, when you, uh, 
I was thinking it was buffs. I was thinking, when when you zone and you have less hit points than your gear gives you. Um, when you zone and you have less hit points than you get from gear, uh, the fucking I'm having a hard time with words. And when you zone, you lose all your buffs and debuffs, and you zone through without dying. So if I want to do this, it looks like I'm going to have to annoyingly take off the limited amount of hit point gear I have. Hold on, my daughter wants me. Apparently someone's at the door. I must go. Apparently my power meter is being upgraded, and I'm going to lose power momentarily. So this will be something to do another day. I'm going to exit and stop the video.